In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom sorts to sort your columns in Power BI. We're gonna try to sort the months so they show up in chronological order when we visualize them in report. And I'm also gonna show you how you can create a custom sort for any types of columns that you have. So all of that and more. Without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this sample project that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple Power BI desktop file, it has some information about car sales. If I go to the data view, this is a simple sales file which has some details about the cars that were sold, their models, when they were sold and at what price. We also created a couple of other tables here that uh, is quite standard for when we, uh, for visualizations. Uh, we created a date table and also a calculations table to hold our measures. At the moment, we only have one calculation there which just sums the sales price. And if we move to the model view, you'll see that I created a relationship between the date table and the sales table in order to be able to filter by date uh, on the sales table. So let's try showing the sales for now on our report view. So let's drag in the year here and let's pull in the price. Yeah, so here we have a total sales that we have per year at the moment, so which, which is great. So it's, it just sums the sales by year. Now let's try to add the month in this axis and let's just make this a little bit wider and let's go down one level. And you'll see it summarizes the values the same way, except it's year and month. But you'll see the first problem here is the fact that the sorting is not correct. So you can see it's 2020 of May, and then it kind of is a bit random. And normally you'd solve this issue by doing the sort through here. So if you click the ellipses, you will have the option to sort by different ways. So you can sort by ascending or descending, or you can sort by different columns within the visual. But the problem is that it doesn't let us sort the months the way that it should be sorted. So if we try, for example, year, year month, you will see that it shows us January, September, October, November. If we remove the year just to make this look a little bit simpler, you'll see the problem here straight away. So you'll see that the months are sorted in alphabetical order and at the moment it's descending so it starts from S, September and then it ends with A which is April. And we don't want to sort this month this month column by the alphabetical order but we want to sort it by the actual month order. So how would we do that? If we go back to the data view and open up the date table, you'll see that we have a month number which we can use to sort the month names. So this is what we want to sort it by. At the moment it's showing the month name equivalent to the number, in this case it's seven, and then September is nine, etc., etc. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to set the month name to sort by month number. All you'll need to do is if you click on the month name under column tools you'll have the option to sort by column and then we'll just select month number here and that what will what that will do is it will sort the month name using the month number as its reference so let's see how that looks like when it's visualized let's let's recreate this table because we need to recreate it to show the results Let's drag in the year and month name again. Sales price. And let's just put it back into the axis. And one. 
and there you go so you'll see that it's now sorted correctly so you'll see that it goes from January to December and then January again for the next year so that solves the problem that we have with the month sorting and what's great about this is because the sorting is done by column it means that even if you change the chart type it will still follow the same sorting order so if we change this to a line chart, you'll see that it still um, stays the same, uh, the sorting. Let's do another example. So let's start by bringing in the car and the sales price. Now let's put it up into a clustered chart and you'll see that automatically it sorts the cars by the number of sales that they have. So on a descending order, the one Ford, for example, is at the very top of this list and then it goes to Chevrolet, Toyota. However, sometimes you might get a requirement where you want this order to be a standard set and you don't want it to be moving around based on the number of sales so you want to see them in a specific custom sort order so how do you deal with that if we go back to the data view you'll see that i have another table here that i prepared which is the car order now this would be what we will use to reference the sort order for the cars themselves so at the moment we have the different types of cars and we want to sort this by their index so we want the Jaguar to be at the very top of the list always uh, BMW and then Nissan so the same thing that we did before we'll just need to make sure we select that column and then we'll do sort by column and then by indexed the next thing that you'll need to check is the model view so at the moment because car order is by itself we'll need to make sure that there is a relationship between the car order and the sales in order for us to use this car column in this table as a filter so let's create a relationship there that's a one to many and then let's go back to the report view let's delete this table again because again we need to recreate it let's now bring in car which is from the car order and also price and let's bring back the bar chart so you'll see that now it follows the same custom order that we have on our car orders it goes Jaguar BMW in Nissan and that's it for this video I hope this helped you understand how you can start using custom sorts for your columns in Power BI if this video was helpful for you or if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below leave this video a like if it helped you it's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below and thank you so much guys for watching see you again on the next one